Want to do some Jocktober? Uh, nothing would make me happy right now than listen to uh, some we have, Jocktober. We have Jocktober production? Oh, I hope so. Is it last year's production? Oh, boy. Same intro as last year? Who knows? Who could tell the difference? All right. You guys ready for Jocktober? Yes. Ah, that's what I've been waiting for. Chop, chop. It's Jocktober. <laughs> This is awesome. A celebration of rap-tastic radio from around this great nation of ours. Great. Great. Thank you. So turn up this turntacular radio. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. It's Nice. Wow. Been waiting a year for this. I am feeling so fucking good about Jocktober. So uh, once a year, we just uh, feature a lot of radio shows around the country that fit into that whole Jocktober thing. Any uh, station that's really doing Jocktober um, stinks, by the way. So that's why we dub Jocktober the uh, month of the radio hack. Well, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. not many good radio shows left, huh? Oh boy, on on, on regular radio, radio, I couldn't even name one in our area. You know, because I know Cowhead's doing a good job still, and there's a few on regular radio, but yeah. in New York, I couldn't name one that I actually would, you know, search out and listen to. No, no. So today we uh, we take a look at Froggy. We yeah. like this Froggy. Froggy. Froggy 104 in Pennsylvania. Yeah, we're taking it to PA. A show called Danger and Tracy. What? What Danger. are these guys about, Sam? On, uh, on the Froggy stations, they uh, it's Danger Frog. What's Danger Frog? What's Danger Frog? On Froggy, you have to have a little frog <laughs> last name. Why? Bless you, my love. Everything's about Wait, it. Wait, what? You got a frog last name? Yeah, because frog... So it would be Opie Frog? I don't want to be Opie Frog. Well, if you were there, oh. you'd have to be. We oh. might visit other uh, Froggy stations, because there are a lot of frog radio stations, and like frog? some of them... Frog. 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 It's an frog. F-R-O-G. Frog. Frog. That's how he says... What it, what, what, frog? What is the <laughs> what is the thing in your room that you open the door and hang your clothes ah, in? Very good. Closet? A closet? closet. A closet. <laughs> a closet. Closet. How do you say it? Closet. It's a closet. It's a closet. 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 What is it? C L O U S C. What, no, what but is it's it? pronounced like you say closet. closet. No, you say closet. 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 How do you say it? Closet. <laughs> closet. <laughs> That's what you say on a contract. <laughs> So what do you say? What do you say? Santa Claus? Santa Claus. Yeah, well that's claw because it's a it's a there's a U in yeah. there. Closet. A A L How do you say uh this radio station again? Fraggy. No, say it like you say it. Froggy. Stick up Froggy. 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 <laughs> you say you, froggy. You are an idiot. England fucked up fucked you up. No, man. it didn't. It fucked you yes, up. It did. And the language is called English, so obviously they know what they're doing over there. What? England, English. They suck. They don't. They know what they're doing. Yeah. Watch Go that Euro. Well, they're yeah. not great with... It's uh, fucking falling apart, that shit union. I'm so, I <laughs> couldn't be happier than to watch a union collapse in that European Union. Shitheads. <laughs> fuck them. They're going to let fucking Greece just go away. Good. They should. <laughs> They're going to say, fuck you, let Greece. Them, again, they all hated America. America's this bad guy. Go fuck yourselves. So froggy. I guy. Froggy. Yeah, like they... Uh, There's some... a bunch of froggies. 94.9, 103.5, 104.3. They're and, all froggy stations. Well, all those frequencies are running this station. And then there are other stations that also hold the same name. And some of their jocks include, like, Tadpole... Wait, so so your name has to? Have, oh my God! It has to be radio. Ew, they're all fucking connected they, like that. They yeah. have to be connected to the frog and yeah. So not Some everyone way, gets the frog form. last name. No, 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 no. no. Hmm. Some people are. Actually I guess if called, you're a part timer, like, you're like a tadpole. Like a but a, if you're, a female jock would be called like lily pad. No, that's on the, cool. yeah, no, 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 no. About maxi pad because no, 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 they no. bleed from the vagina. <laughs> <laughs> like, see, there's this is. <laughs> This is Leap and Leah. Ah, she does the she's leaping. weeknights. Oh, my God. Because they jump like a frog. Fucking pride yeah, yeah. That's yourself. horrendous. I would say if you want me to work there, I'm not doing the froggy. What about Dissected oh, yeah. Dan? Is he there? <laughs> See, because they dissected How about frogs. Jumping Jerry? Terry. How about Hopping Hal? <laughs> well, the sad part is the, the real names are just as bad. Look at this. Go ahead. Well, Terry the Tadpole. Terry the Tadpole. He's an old guy. What are you yeah. doing, Terry uh, the Tadpole? Let's turn the Tadpole here on the frog. Hey, on froggy. Wendy, Wendy Green. Wendy Green. Uh, like frog. Frogs are green. Yeah. 
Jimmy Roach. I don't even know it. They eat roaches? I guess. I don't know. They smoke pot? <laughs> I don't know. Whose yes. idea was this? You think that's a good idea? Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus. Why does radio froggy. do this? We do got itself. a whole froggy theme here now. If you're going to take this job, and we do you want, want you aboard, um, what, what do you think you'd want to have as your frog name? Well, I guess Sam Roberts. No, Sam. Sam, Sam, you need a froggy name. Why? Oh, could you imagine having to sit with a fucking GM yeah, or no. a PD and and come up with a frog name? Sam Froggerts. Oh, Your name whoa. should be Sam Cunt. <laughs> yeah. Well, Cunt doesn't work on terrestrial yeah, yeah, radio. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. Nothing to do with frogs. Yeah, it does. Frogs. 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 A frog. I'll tell you, you say frog. So who's Danger Frog? Well, Danger Frog. He was uh, he was doing the morning show. Oh, that's show. a good question. Sorry, Sam. Is yeah, there no. a po- is there a polywog on the station? A polywog. Yeah. Uh, there really is a not on this station, but on another station there is a girl named Polly yeah. Wog. That would be the uh, that's like the best froggy name you could have. I think if you're gonna have a froggy name, uh, Polly Wog would be good. Polly Wog. Hey, it's Polly Wog with you mm-hmm. on the froggy. Polly this is, Wog. This is a different Froggy 104. Yeah, yeah. Uh, How could it in be a different, different city. How could it be different, Sam? How but could it's it be the different? same logo, like the same everything. Froggy. What's happening? Sam Ribberts. What's ha- <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Willis. Ah, that's perfect. Oh, you know what? It came in a couple times, and uh, we'll give it to Doug in uh, Salt Lake City. Sam too. Ribberts. <laughs> Sam Ribberts is coming in. Uh, or the, Ribberts. The Frog Jocks on this Froggy 104 include Polly Wog, Tad Pole, and Sally Mander. Well, that's just another amphibian. Yeah, that doesn't even work well, at that's all. A, that's stretching a little bit, don't you think? Yeah. Yes. Leap and Leah. Yeah, why don't we keep with the frog theme and uh, keep the salamanders out of it? Exactly. There's no room for salamanders here on Sam Froggy. Samphibian. Samphibian is pretty good. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's a little clever. Yeah. You could use that. Plus, it sounds a little edgy. I'll get the young audience. I'm sure yeah, you'll get yeah. your cronies in the 10 o'clock hour to discuss this for an hour. Oh, They'll all come God. up with a name for frog you. Frog names. Well, and I then mean, you can give the rest of the cronies their frog name during the 10 o'clock hour today. We all need to, yeah. you know, find jobs once the Opie and Anthony show doesn't work anymore. And once, once you guys are gone, yeah. we're going to need to find jobs at the Froggy Station. That's true. Hey, what are you hearing about us being gone? Well, you mm-hmm. announced uh, last week that you were going to walk out before your contract oh, was yeah. over. Oh, so yeah. that's what I'm hearing about I, you. I was, I was having a moment. I was having a moment. <laughs> okay. I was having a moment. Does that's anyone a, believe this shit at this point? I don't know, but that's what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> we just yell and scream a lot. At least we admit that you shouldn't believe our shit. Thank Un- God. Unlike uh, Mr. Vacation. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Uh, hey, should we have virus that. names here? Yeah. Oh, that would be great. We should all have virus names. Yes. <laughs> all the air staff needs to have virus oh. names. Well, I want. I have to be uh, uh, Anthony AIDS. Anthony AIDS, you Anthony got it. Anthony AIDS. Yeah, you know, it's like a- a- Anthony AIDS. I'll go with H- Opie uh, Herp Lip. <laughs> <That's> not, <laughs> no, it's got to have a flow to it. It's got to have uh, What about uh, Poliopi? That's not nice. Like, that's polio. not bad, though, but polio. it makes sense. Poliope. Poliope. Yeah, my, that's better. My aunt right. had polio growing up, and she's in the medical fucking journals. Oh, damn. She, oh. So let's leave the polio alone. Oh, boy. It's a virus. What was, what was she in the journals as? They fucking figured her shit out. What did old turnip legs have? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What was her nickname? Clean Shoes McGillicuddy? <laughs> <laughs> they some, I don't know, they did some experimental shit. And she's in the journals. She yeah. fucking walks around nice. All the more reason you should be poliope. Uh, I'm sorry, Eric. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, but Eric's name is Bullfrog Nagel. <laughs> Bullfrog uh, Nagel. Because that's the biggest frog. I'm sorry. That's Mac, not me. Oh, e- they're calling him E. coli Nagel. E. coli. Yeah. That's great. What does Doug in Salt Lake City want credit for? Oh, thanks for the credit. Oh, you're welcome. We give the credit out. Mm. Okay. Uh, Sam- Salmonella. 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 That's, Salmonella. that's, that's awesome. a good virus name. Sure. Sure. <sighs> Even though I do believe that's a bacteria. Is yeah, it? but that's like the salamander deal. How about yeah. San- it's Anthony Sneezy Face? It doesn't work at all. <laughs> I like it. I'm taking it. <laughs> a sneezy face. But it should be more like AIDS the knee, not Anthony AIDS. Right, right, right. No. AIDS the knee. Or... Let's go to Mike and PA. Mikey. Oh, you're Mike. making Froggy 101 with today's broadcast. From Captain Kermit the Weather Hermit. Is that real? For real. Oh, my be. God. Oh, I could be anth- Anthrax. <laughs> anthrax. Anthrax is nice. You hear about that? The hermit guy does the weather? Hermit the Kermit? Hermit the Kermit, Kermit the Hermit. Kermit the Hermit. What? Oh, my God. It's just frogs what everywhere. You, what you Jimmy just... Norton antivirus. 
That's the great. Norton antivirus. Yeah. Yep. Like the computer and thing. And Jim comes in and cools everyone down when everybody gets heated up. He's right. the antivirus. Right. Yeah, I don't like when things get too crazy. <laughs> right. I like to keep it, uh... How about... How about Eric the, the cold carrier or something? That's good. I don't think it works. Mm. I don't think that works at all. How about, uh... Oh, man, it's club soda. How about Petri Dish Kenny? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Danger Frog, Froggy, yeah, the Froggy Station. Yeah, it's Danger Frog and Tracy Morgan. I can't find any pictures of this Tracy Morgan, but it's not. Uh, it's not. Does Tracy. he act like Tracy Morgan? It's a her, and she oh. is almost as funny. What do you mean, act like Tracy Morgan? How would that be? Fucking be unpredictable and blow off radio shows that were nice to her? Uh. <laughs> yeah, fuck him, too. Oh, I'm done with all these assholes. What the fuck? Grab a kidney and run. <laughs> yeah, Tracy used to do our show all the time. He literally forgot who we were. Big star. Are you serious? It's Big star. mind-boggling to me. Well, Danger Whatever. and Tracy is like, yeah. there are different types of shows on Jocktober. Yeah. And some are like... They have the hall, and some are just the wacky, goofy people. Yeah. Danger and Tracy, the show that I wanted to start out with, is the perfect example of a show that just, I mean, this is two hours of their highlighted. This is the best stuff they did in two hours. Best. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I kind of disagree uh, how we do Jocktober, but in a way, I'm starting to see it your way. Like, we, we could kill any show. Any show, even us in our prime, you could kill us by uh, picking out those moments where we suck, obviously. Right. Yeah. So, but what Sam's doing is he's he, through the listeners finding these hacky shows, and then he's only doing a two-hour block from one fucking show. Right. Yeah. No, like best ofs. No, like searching through for a week. It's just searching through a week until you find the worst, the really the worst. bad stuff. Right. Like this is one this is a typical show, and this is the very best that they did in two hours. All right. You ready to play some of this shit in? Oh, please. Jimmy, ready? I'm very ready. Love All right, October begins with Froggy well, 104. You should read the descriptions of the clips before you play. Okay, oh, Danger oh. and Tracy Morgan in the morning. Why would she go with Tracy Morgan as her name? I don't Why know. It not? doesn't even sound like a frog. No. Uh, Danger like and a... Tracy <laughs> ooze chemistry as Danger goes for some material on how much money Toby Keith makes, and Tracy won't allow it to go anywhere. Oh, boy. Oh, it's a whole shit? Just listen to this chemistry. It's like, <laughs> Danger's <laughs> like, I got some material here, and Tracy's like, let me back you up with this. Oh, shit. <laughs> What do you mean, back you up? Like, you know how, like, Does, you when you're about... rolling with something, an ant will spice it up here, and it'll let you keep rolling, and you guys just... And then you throw something to ant, and the ant can roll with it, oh, and yeah. you guys just go back and forth, and all of a sudden, this one little nugget turns into this half hour of amazing... That's kind of like what Danger and Tracy do. Oh, oh okay. It's kind of oh, the same the same gist. And yeah, right. Danger's premise is just so good in general that you would think... So, yeah, that... It's got, like hours of material. I don't know what's so better. So like us, worth. they do have like a bunch of shit in front of them, but in yeah. that case, they just make a shit castle <laughs> yeah. that no one gives a fuck about. <laughs> right. Gotcha. But we turn it into gold. Oh, gold. Gold from shit. All right, here's Danger and Tracy. Froggy 104 in the morning at 6.05, Danger and Tracy Morgan. Toby Keith there, Made in America. His new CD, by the way, Clancy's Tavern, comes out next month. Very L- good. Little tidbit there. Little for tidbit. You. I'll give you one more tidbit. Okay. We're getting ready to do the Nashville Nugget, so I'm. Just... What's the Nashville Nugget? <laughs> the Nashville. Nash- the Nashville, oh, the Nashville nugget. nugget. The Nashville Nugget is where Danger gives you Danger Frog. I'm sorry, where Danger Frog gives you. See, this is not real. All the latest <laughs> news in country in the I world remember, of country music. I did leave a Nashville Nugget in uh, the hotel <laughs> toilet <laughs> when I was there. Yeah. Uh, hard to flush. Those no, ones. it's it's a it's a news. It's a block of. Of entertainment, country music news. Came out of my ass like I was no. dumping out a box of milk duds. <laughs> no, it's just enter- go, just go on the shits. air and talk. Not everything has to be packaged. Oh, well, the thing something. is, you need to get the listeners to listen at 20 after the hour or whenever it is because they know that's when the Nashville Nugget comes. Nashville Nugget. And, and, they, and they can't live without it. No, they want to hear Danger reading the Danger Frog. Why We're getting they? ready to do the Nashville Nugget, so I'm... Just giving away all my country music stories, but uh, Toby Keith named the highest paid country music star by Forbes magazine, made fifty million, five oh million <laughs> in the last year. Chunk of change. And, and by the way, his c- comment on that was, "Why does anybody care?" <laughs> well, people like to know how much uh, money people make. Yeah, it's interesting. Do. It's like, curious. Toby made fifty million last year. Maybe I should become a country singer. Yeah. All right, I'll stop. All right. <laughs> 
Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm fucking sweating. <laughs> wow. I don't even know these people. That's like to them though. That's like, all right, we're really swinging on that one. <laughs> that's a Nashville nugget. Oh, that's no, that's not the Nashville nugget. Like that was only. Uh, that was like a guy on the brake the whole time you're trying to fucking drive. Uh -huh, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, they were, all right, is it gonna happen here? Is the chemistry gonna start here? And they just they're just there to laugh at their own jokes because the other one won't laugh at the other's jokes because they're not jokes. Yeah, they're just <laughs> observations. I was just like reading from a newspaper. You yeah. got to add to it a little bit, right? Yeah. All right. Should we move right on? Uh, yeah. I mean, if you, because you guys said that you wanted to hear what the Nashville Nugget was all about. I didn't say that. Ant did. He said he wanted to hear the Nashville of Nugget. Of course I did. Danger does a story about Carrie Underwood's cell phone and internet connection. That's right. Part of the Nashville Nugget. This sounds good. Oh, and you know what? Carrie Underwood, we, we found out yesterday, mm -hmm. she wants to have two kids. Yes. Her hockey-playing husband, Mike Fisher, wants to have four. Four. Mm-hmm. But we also find out today that she doesn't tweet or like fancy phones. What? She oh. says, quote, I don't do apps, and I don't tweet. There you go. Most women her age are all over it while driving. <laughs> but <laughs> she says she takes after her mom, who still has a dial-up internet connection. Well, she's preparing herself for motherhood, because once she's a mother, she's not going to have time to tweet or do Facebook or anything else. Oh. Or anything else. <laughs> Ralph. Did you hear wow, Ralph. Ralph. Oh, Ralph. Oh, Ralph. You know how you can tell when a laughter is genuine? Yeah. When there is a ha and a ha, and that's the end of the laugh. When it's just ha ha. Why does a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, a genuine that's, laugh. Why does she have to be a typical bitch? What is she talking about? I, I got a kid. My wife's got a kid, too, obviously. And, well, and she's oh, Facebook, and I'm tweeting. What are you talking about? You got to admit, ever since you started, you became a father, you gave up the YouTube and Twitter channels that you have. I haven't seen you tweet. In I actually months. tweet way more now because I'm oh. sitting around with the kid. But the YouTube, you actually do more of that. Oh, oh, just get out of the house more. So now I'm I'm in the house a little more. So I jump on my Twitter or whatever. No, and that's what wow. most fucking parents do. That's not true. I heard she Tracy stinks. Uh, Tracy Morgan, the girl Tracy Morgan, the girl Tracy right. Morgan, the funny Tracy Morgan. Oh, she begs to damn differ. you. About an hour later, they do the exact same story. <laughs> oh, you know, no. You know how you guys have said that oh, one no. of the things you did on NEW were you knew how commercial radio worked, so if you had a really good bit, you would air it again later in the day. Well, there was a real reason for that. We just didn't have enough material yet. Right. Tracy. Right? Yeah. That's what it comes down to. Yeah. We, I mean, we knew early on in our show at NEW if we had something really good, we could play it later on. But the fact was because we had nothing else to go to. Tra yeah. Tracy and Danger, uh, they that was theirs. Like they were like, oh, we got to do that uh, wow. Carrie Underwood thing again in one hour. So an hour later, they do the exact same story, but Danger tries to punch it up with a new zinger well, on dial-up internet. I feel like he's had a little time now to sit with the story, because <laughs> right. Tracy did the story. Right. And now, instead of just giving the audience the exact same thing, Danger is able to sit with it for a little while, yeah. do a little writing while the songs were playing, yeah. and come up with something that really is going to make the people at home remember Danger Frog. And, and thank God for Danger Frog, because I was thinking on the way in that we don't have enough zingers about dial-up internet. So I'm <laughs> so glad someone... That? Yeah, I was on the way in today. Because I was so, noticing... I'm so glad that someone has taken up the cause. The, whole, the first two hours of today's show... You especially, Opie, had no zingers about dial-up internet. I was just kind of waiting because I knew Danger Frog had a few. Good, I didn't want to step on his fucking Yeah, toes. that's true. Good. Why the fuck are they even talking about that? <laughs> <laughs> who has who has dial-up to begin with where this is a relatable Fro fucking topic? Froggy listeners, I bet. What? A lot of them. Get the fuck out. <laughs> it's part of the Nashville Nugget. Now everybody many, can relate to the Nashville Nugget. I'm talking to the whole room. How many people do you know that have dial-up right now? Nobody. Zero. Uh, zero. I know 35,217 <laughs> of my closest friends, Gregory. <laughs> you just gave me hiccups. Fuck. <laughs> All right, same story. I love dial-up. <laughs> that lets me know that my connection's about to begin and the fun's going to start. <laughs> fun time. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't sell uh, some kind of dial-up service. I do! Oh, you Yes, do. I do! I sell 14 kilobytes per second! <laughs> 14K modem speed, buckaroo! 
That's uh, flying. Oh, certainly is. I understand some people have tried to watch videos. It's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very good. People bringing up Fez has dial-up, but I don't know Fez. I said people I know. Oh, you don't know oh. Fez? I don't know him. Oh, no. I say hi to him in the hall. But you don't like know him. I don't know. I don't know the first thing about he him. He can't possibly have dial-up. I wouldn't think so. He's in Yahoo News all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yahoo! All right, here we go. So the same story an hour later, but he uh, pumps it up with yeah, some, well, uh, some zingers. zinger at the end. All right. Yesterday we found out that Carrie Underwood wants to have two kids with mm-hmm. her hockey playing husband, Mike Fisher. He wants four. Mm-hmm. Well, today we find out that she doesn't tweet and she doesn't have a fancy phone. Most young women want a, a fancy oh, phone. Oh, they want, yeah, all not, the bling. Not Carrie Underwood. She says, people can call me or text, but I don't do apps and I don't tweet. She says she takes after her mom, who still has dial-up internet. Really? Oh, like, that's so bad. Wow. It is slow, though. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. They had an hour to figure it out. <laughs> there was nothing. That's, really? Go into oh. Tracy Morgan's stupid fucking broadhead. <laughs> She had an hour to figure out one line about this dumb story. But and what she added an hour later was, really? Really? But you also have to listen, listen to Danger Frog again, because not only does he refuse to come up with a joke, but he won't even take an opinion. No. First he says, it's not that bad. And then he says, but it is slow. Slow. Like, oh, no. I mean, I mean, but, it is, but it's not, it's not you know that why? bad, but it is bad. The PD says, don't alienate the audience. Now, a lot people. of them have 14K. Yeah, a lot of them are dial-up people <laughs> even, here. Even if they had dial-up, would they be like supporters of dial-up? Like fans? Like, don't insult dial-up. Yeah, yeah. They could, yes, they will <laughs> leave Froggy. Well, you don't want to seem like you're insulting a lot of the people. No. That you're, it's a class warfare issue. <laughs> Yet, what you do want to do also is let people know that you're on the cutting edge of technology and you have... A cable modem. Right. I'm aware that dial-up is slow to some people. To some people. Yeah. And, and it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's I, what you want. How great would it be if he had just melted down and said that she doesn't have dial-up, and then if he just blurted that, well, then how does she watch shit porn? <laughs> 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 and the girl went, what? He went, did I say that or think it? <laughs> yeah. And then that would be a human resources issue. Uh, danger frog. I, I, I want to hear what she added. Okay. I'm going to do it again, and and let's write down what she added to a story that she had an hour to prepare for, because they already did the story. Yesterday, we found out that Carrie Underwood wants to have two kids with Mm -hmm. her hockey-playing husband, Mike Fisher. He wants four. Mm -hmm. Well, today, we find out that she doesn't tweet, and she doesn't have a fancy phone. Most young women want a a fancy phone. Oh, they want, yeah, all the bling. Not Carrie Underwood. She says, people can call me or text, but I don't do apps, and I don't tweet. She says she takes after her mom, who still has dial-up internet. Really? Oh, like, that's so bad. Wow. It is oh, slow, though. Okay. <laughs> I wrote it all down. You okay. got it? I like the bling part. I want to be a, I want to be a program director. I would set this stupid bitch down and say, we're, we're cutting your pay in half. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> An hour later, same fucking story. Same we're, story. You're sitting around as the music's playing, because I'm assuming they're playing music. She could actually oh, yeah. try to figure out Lots something. Lots of music. She had... Uh, mm-hmm, twice. <laughs> mm-hmm. Something with a yeah. Really? And wow. That's what she added. No, oh. she said, she goes, no, some girls, you know, the bling. The bling. The I bling think, with the phone. I think you might have missed a... You missed the bling. You missed a, quote, was the that, bling. Was that part of the, bling. the yeah? Yeah, it was probably... She was oh, probably like, yeah, I just heard the yeah. bling. All right, fair enough. So, yes, what? Yeah, the bling. Yeah, yeah, the bling. Yeah, the bling. That's what she Because he goes, so, you know, she doesn't like the fancy phones. Yeah. You know, so some girls like those fancy phones. Yeah, the, the bling. Of course, after she said, really, he should have responded, yes, I told you an hour ago. Really? Dude. Yeah, remember? An what hour I said ago? an hour the ago same to Same story and wording. Broads do not belong in radio. You lummox. <laughs> <laughs> Broads don't belong. But that's not to say that Danger Frog is overly talented either. True. I mean, oh, let's, please, let's yeah. Let's be fair. Let's fucking, <laughs> but let's le- put this in perspective here. <laughs> so then let her read the stupid story, and then yeah. let him fucking punch it up with his zingers. Just, re- <laughs> just zing, uh, say stuff like, yeah, like, that's so bad, Dude. although it is slow. <laughs> Speaking of which, I, I, I have to say this. Yeah. I will have a nuclear meltdown if the rumor is true about Kate Gosselin and Sirius XM. I've heard I things. will have a fucking nuclear meltdown. Oh, I've heard uh, some What have rumors. you heard? No one could get fucking raises around here. Really? 
including ourselves, uh-huh. were drastically underpaid. Uh-huh. And there's a strong rumor they're fucking hiring her. Oh, for the the reason her her show is going away is because no one's watching that shit anymore. <laughs> so why was. would you then turn around and offer a contract here? She's What's wrong with you people? And also, is that rumor true? Dude, that, that demo is so covered. She'll, I bet you her picture will be in all the fucking ads. Of course. The reason uh, 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 Kate Plus 8 or whatever the fuck the show is called is going away. No one is watching. The audience is literally a yep. tenth of what it was. They're going to call it Kate Plus 8 listeners. There you go. <laughs> See? We're Kate Plus 8 million a year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's that too. That's Ooh. where our money's going. Another dumb fucking uh, hire, if it's true. Is it? Is it true? It's not confirmed. Maybe it's just her publicity. Maybe the way Dana and those guys use okay. uh, possible purchase of G4 to get Fox on board. Maybe she's using this to negotiate something the, else. This Dana. is the quote. This is what everybody's basing this on. She said, somebody asked her about uh, hosting a Sirius XM satellite radio show. And she said, I love doing satellite radio tours. And it's something that a few people have suggested recently. I must admit, it would be a great way to put my gift of gab to great use. I'll look into it. Thanks for the suggestion. Gift yeah, of gab. Uh, that's no wrong. All right. So good. All right. All right. I said a, a few things back there. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we heard <laughs> a few that. Things, a few things back Based there. Based on uh, just speculation well, okay, and so rumor like and innuendo. Rumor. Okay. If you want, you could I listen to Tracy Morgan comment I wouldn't put on it past them, Carrie no. Underwood story again. Uh, that's what I want to hear. Make you feel better. I wouldn't put it past them. No, 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 no. no. I'm sure. All right. Happen. So far, it's a rumor. Okay. Phew. Danger and Tracy Morgan in the morning on Froggy. Uh, Danger does an entertainment uh, story. Tracy contributes what she believes is a conversation story. What she believes. <laughs> I love how you write this shit. Oh, I have somebody else must write it. I don't know. Danger is indignant. Yes, I got a very indignant vibe by his. Uh... <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right, here we go. Although I thought it was it, there is a certain chemistry. Oh, yeah, yeah. That I find between. Like, I get oh, why certainly, people like listen. bleach and ammonia <laughs> right. has a certain chemistry, too. Exactly. So this Danger Frog, he's growing up as Danger Frog. Next thing you know, he works on a, a radio station called Froggy. That's it's the how perfect dangerous fit. could it be, too? Fucking... And why would Mr. and Mrs. Frog name their son Danger? It's Danger. Frog! I said Frog. I know we're in this together, but Jesus, say Frog. Frog. That's why I'll never get a job there. Frog. How do you say, what? what is it uh, when they cut down a tree uh, and then chop it up into pieces? What are those pieces? Logs. 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 <laughs> Logs. Wow, you're fucked up. England fucked you up, brother. It really did. England is what's up. No, it's not. What's England up? is a fruit country. UK in the hizzy. Yeah. An entire country of... Look into that euro. Well, how's that working out, that euro? Mm-hmm. I was there when it was pounds. All mm-hmm. pounds all day long. Well, it's still pounds over in England. Where, 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 where are you at with the football players wearing the damn pink? I know it's a good cause, but do they have to wear the pink? Yeah. They had pink gloves on during the Jets game last night. And What's breast that cancer? for? The breast cancer No, thing? I understand what it's for, but why are they going all in? And the, and, the, and the Jets hats they were wearing were green and pink. Well, it's hard to not wear the pink when the pink is pretty much the logo for the cause. You know? But can't can't they just have a tiny little pink stripe or something? Why does it have but to then be? Again, why are they doing their uniforms at all? If they weren't going to let them wear the classic uniform, why don't they just not fucking do it at all? It looks weird. Mm. Oh, it's baseball. Yeah, baseball wouldn't allow the uh, Mets yeah. to do that. That fucking scumbag uh, Bud yep. Sealy. Mm-hmm. Who cares? It was a who cares game. You let them wear their stupid hats to For 9-11, you can't. Right? Acknowledge 9-11 people. Of course you you do that. Yeah. The football players are the pink, though. It's really just strange. Uh, entertainment story. Tracy contributing nothing. Danger doesn't give a fuck. Right? Well, he's indignant. Right. Nancy Grace denies having a wardrobe malfunction during Nancy. How can you not have <laughs> material on on Nancy Grace's nipple, even love on regular the music, radio? By the way, yeah, I was love about to, I was the, point the out. music. Oh, they went with the ET. Oh, this is great music. And during Dancing with the Stars Monday night, she says, "Quote: There was a little bit of movement, but it did not rise to a wardrobe malfunction. We've taken every precaution known to men." To keep this dress right here. I'm it, talking industrial size precaution. Well, and that's the thing. I was caught. I was reeled in by the, the uh, you know, it's a malfunction. So I watched the video. I don't see anything that's okay. a malfunction. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Okay. And okay. moves on to the next story. Okay. Th- thank you. He just <laughs> blew Danger her does, off. Danger doesn't want to be with Tracy. She called it an intimate malfunction. And who... 
And why believe what they're telling you? Uh, fucking Nancy Grace's nipple was on on TV. It, 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 the freeze frame of it, it's obvious. It's, it's a, obvious. It's a big, nasty nipple sticking out. It looks like a horrible gravy stain type nipple, but uh, it's a nipple just to say. Chewed out piece of shit on her fucking Horrible chest. looking. You could even play on the fact that she said industrial strength. Okay, okay, okay thank some... you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay. And what's this known <laughs> to right. man, known to man, to make sure it doesn't happen? There's other things not known to man that you could do to make sure the nipple doesn't slip out? Yes. I don't know, but again, these are all conversation pieces that could have happened in that break <laughs> yeah but in all fairness to these assholes they probably only got 30 seconds to talk and that's mm-hmm. why he gave her the okay thank you Yeah, because they're on a cl- they're on the clock man as soon as this fucking danger starts talking oh, they got yeah. 30 fucking seconds but what's so dangerous about what he said he's not saying anything particularly dangerous yeah, hey, why would- <laughs> he's danger frog stop it frog. was that, that being very dangerous oh not even close no. crazy danger going on there I, actually, he's the opposite. He's very cautious. I don't know. He's extremely... He should be oh. cautious, Frog. Yeah, he yeah, should be looked both ways before crossing Frog. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Wardrobe malfunction talk is not the I, type I, of talk that generally goes over well. He's tentative toad. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very tentative. I take yield signs seriously, Frog. <laughs> No, he brought yeah, up yeah, he brought up the Nancy I Grace story. Well, he did bring it up. <laughs> that's, that's dangerous. Crazy. They're talking tits there. Yeah, right. Tits on regular radio, that's uh, that's yeah, dangerous. That's crazy. That's yeah, why he dangerous shut frog. that shit down though when Tracy got a little excited. Yeah. Mm. But wouldn't it be great if he just snapped again like at the very end? And she's like, It seemed like a wardrobe malfunction. And if he said, Yeah, that's a pretty nice areola, I wouldn't mind <laughs> sucking on that till her head caved in. <laughs> <laughs> that's danger frog. She's like, what? Danger frog? That's, that's danger frog. But that's frog. something a danger frog would say. Yeah, absolutely. It's like Don't a big lily pad what? nipple. Even just tie it in. Yeah, it's right. like an areola lily yes. pad. Yeah, exactly. Like that's not what the froggy listeners want. Danger no. frogs should be saying stuff like, "I, I, I wish I could hit it with a hatchet." No, 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 no. You don't no. think Brooks and Dunn fans would be uh, into that? No, they're not into that. They're into Toby Keith talk about Toby how much Keith. money he makes. Yeah, and no jokes about it. Yeah. Well, uh, Aunt Danger and Tracy Morgan uh, on Froggy One Hundred Four. Uh, Tracy Morgan. Uh, yes, in oh, PA. Okay. I get confused. This starts October. Yeah, our favorite month of the year. And uh, the dynamic duo does some great material on Biggest Loser before starting today's Pledge of Allegiance. You know how every every show has a has a they have one bit that they do every morning. Most shows have a few bits oh, every God, morning. Yeah. This show has one. Uh, I'm sorry, two bits. Nashville Nugget, and every morning they do the Pledge of Allegiance. The actual Pledge of Allegiance. What do you think? Do you think it's like a fun thing? Ah, they don't on. even pump it up. Do you think it's like a fun thing, or do you think it's just some kids in a school stay, literally saying the full Pledge of Allegiance? No, no, no. no. This doesn't or do you think it's like a fun, wacky no. thing? I know radio radio is a disaster, but there's not a radio show no, actually no, no. doing the Pledge of this Allegiance is not, every morning. This is not real. So it's either like a fun, wacky, crazy thing, or it's just there's actually a class of kids who do the Pledge of Allegiance. And it's these assholes that, that... Every morning. Every single morning. It's fun. I say it's, it's fun. It's assholes like thing. this that, uh, the, the, of course, no one gives us respect. But I didn't say which one it was. No radio guy gets respect because of stupid shows like this doing the Pledge of Allegiance yeah. in the morning. Danger, Frog. Come on, it's dangerous. Right. Don't don't judge it yet because you don't know if Did it's Did he make the... it dangerous at all? Well, again, it could be the fun, wacky thing or it could be literally just the Pledge of Allegiance read by children. It's just the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I, you, know. you don't know. You, Shut up. Say. you don't know. Shut if up. it's Danger Frog, it's got to be something a little edgy. It could be. And Tracy Morgan usually has a little quip to throw in here and there, so and, you don't know. And when do we get to hear Danger Frog being dangerous? Because I haven't heard it yet. Well, he was kind of revving up the last couple clips. Uh huh. To be Plus, dangerous? He's going to talk about Biggest Loser here before they get into Pledge of Allegiance. So obviously he's got to go with the fat jokes, right? One would think. And he does have a joke here. Fat joke? Technically. Oh boy. <laughs> Coming up, the entertainment report. It's about 10 minutes away. We'll find out who got kicked off Dancing with the Stars, who got kicked off Biggest Loser. You know, there's a. Another mistake these idiots are doing. We all have fucking smartphones. We already know all that info. <laughs> oh, everybody. Well, Plus, we even say it on our show. It's mostly just to get, you know, a conversation, conversation yeah. started. Plus, you He's know- teasing who's getting kicked off Dancing with the Stars. If you care about the show, you already know. And you know, you're a creative show when you name your entertainment report the entertainment report. Yes. I hope these guys... I don't want questions. <laughs> no. See, we're trying to teach them, too. Yeah. We beat the shit out of them, but we're also trying to teach them to do radio properly. You don't tease stuff like that anymore. It's a service. It's almost impossible. I'm a huge Jets fan. Every once in a while, I'm out doing shit, and I'm trying to avoid the game. It's impossible at this point. Yeah. You got to stay know, off Twitter. You got to stay off everything. Yeah. People are talking about it as you're walking around, because they're getting updates. You know what I mean? Usually when you're out in public... 
And you yeah. and let's say you want to avoid the Jets or the Yankees game for that matter, right? Sure. So now you're in the real world with the other people trying to avoid the game, and then they're gonna all go home and hopefully, like you know, they have it on tape or whatever the DVR, and then they're gonna watch and it and watch it without it. But being nowadays, spurled. all the people out in public are getting the updates and discussing it. Yes, it's impossible. The froggy listeners go solely to Froggy for their information. Yes. <laughs> Coming up, the entertainment report. It's about ten minutes away. We'll find out. Who got kicked off Dancing with the Stars? Who got kicked off Biggest Loser? You know there's a country singer on Biggest Loser this yes. year. Yes. Big Vinny of, of Trailer Choir. Yeah. They had yeah. that hit song, Rockin' the Beer Gut. Yeah. Which is... Kind of <laughs> ironic that he's on <laughs> Biggest Loser. Yeah, he... <laughs> Why is that ironic, you stupid bitch? Well, because he had a big hit with Rockin' the Beer Gut. Don't spoil their joke. Oh, Don't oh, you oh, dare. Oh, oh, it's not oh. ironic, because that was from oh. the past, and now he's changing his life. It's I not said ironic. they had a joke about The Biggest All Loser. Right. I don't want you guys spoiling I it. I almost did, I think. What, you know the joke? Don't no. spoil this joke. I, don't know anything I think about I know. Two idiots. I think I know what. <laughs> I think Idiot I know what frog. the joke is. Uh, Jimmy, take a stab at it. I predict he's going to say it's it's he shouldn't be on the Biggest Loser because his stomach is filled with cum and shit. <laughs> That's what he's going to say. Come on, <laughs> Sam. I think what you is, nailed it. What's wrong with the come on? That's dangerous. But it's not frog related. His name is Danger Frog. <laughs> but the froggy listeners it's don't want to hear frog. that. Frog. The froggy listeners froggy, don't want Froggy. Hear it. Frog. Froggy. It's froggy. Froggy. The beer gut? Yeah. Which is... Kind of <laughs> ironic that he's on The Biggest Loser. Yeah, he has a beer gut. Yeah. Uh, he's trying to lose it, too. So I hope he does. Hope he didn't get kicked off last night. We got the uh, details. Was but first... Time for the that Pledge of Allegiance, on, brought to you by DPS. Does. Doesn't he know? I hope he didn't get kicked off. You don't know the answer to that? What, are you, didn't look at the, the what are you hiding it from yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking right. cunt. Plus, it's also nice to know that they are indeed reading off a paper. The Danger Frog didn't go and watch the show or anything like yeah, that. No, to tell no, you no, no. I fucking hate radio tees. Hate it. They're just their idea, like, oh, we'll keep people through the fucking shit. <laughs> through the asshole. Shit. Just say it. You're right there. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Got a big entertainment report. Who's sticking around for that? For the big entertainment report. Who the fuck is waiting for that? Uh, I am. Yeah, I am. Oh, because I just raise my hand. You could read a newspaper, you could go on Twitter, you could go on a website, but none of those things are. Oh, hum. They're not frog related. No. Could someone at explain all. to me, if you are into Dance with the Stars, what it would take for not to know the. The, the info, uh, 24 hours later, well, not 24, what would it be, 12 hours later? 12 yeah. hours. Because there's nothing to do with a frog. Uh, the frog has to be the oh, one. Because if, if for some yeah. reason you went to bed early when they were kicking off one of those dopey dancers, first thing you would do when you woke up is is find out, right? Because yeah, I mean, you like the show. Not if you have dial-up internet. Call back. That is true. <laughs> Dial-up internet. Uh, it's pretty good, but it is slow. But, but it's good. But, out of but, that, it's, but good. it's good. Out of their audience, like, give a fuck about that show. How many actually care to find out who got kicked off? Probably zero. I would say, yeah. yeah. I would zero. say probably zero. <laughs> so this is another waste of time thing that regular radio does. Mm. Play a well, fucking song there. If you think that's a waste of time, oh boy, mm. make room for the Pledge of Allegiance. All right. <laughs> yeah, but they're going to do something with it, I know. Okay. I have faith in uh, radio. Little faith, but they're not going to just do the play. Uh, but first, it's time for the Pledge of Allegiance, brought to you by DPS Pin, with you from the beginning. Hi, Sponsored. I'm Jackson McKee from Mrs. Hickey's <laughs> Kindergarten Class, Yay. South Butler Primary School. Here's sure. the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our anus. Tropical traffic. Anus. You are never <laughs> to blame. Be more funny. Yeah. <laughs> so. Where's the joke? I was, you cut off the joke, I think. No, I, as you can see, I left on the sweeper for hop and go traffic. That <laughs> hop, hop and go, hop and go. Oh, no, it's frog related. Hop and go traffic follows the Pledge of Allegiance. It was actually option B. <laughs> this is unbelievable. This is terrible. It was just the Pledge of Allegiance read by children. It was option B. And, and they you know, do that every day. It's quite That's sponsored. Every and then, you yeah, know, it's sponsored, so. it'll get back to J Danger Frog and Tracy Morgan. We we're making fun of them, and they'll get all pissed off. But listen to yourselves. <laughs> exactly. There's nothing here. Are we really yeah. wrong? 
No, we're not even trying. Right. We haven't even really pumped up these clips. They're so bad. They literally just play kids doing the Pledge of Allegiance. Yeah, they just the kids do the, they record the kids saying the Pledge of Allegiance, and then they go back and they play it on the well, radio because well, it's th- local. Yeah, it's yeah. local, the local angle, and people that are patriotic, listening to country music, like it, yeah. and uh, parents. Sit and and they're like aw aw, and they're trying like it's got the aw factor. Like my mom used to listen to country music when we had country music on the radio in New York. Oh great! And I'm sure when I was growing up, she would be every single day submitting my class oh, for the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm sure she would. And that's the audience they're catering. Fucking to. creepy, that mother of yours. Because yeah, this boy. is entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's got to be in hell, though. <laughs> you don't think he's, like, enjoying it, this as he's doing it? Dude, nah. it's, he's got to hate it. Do you think when Danger Frog got into radio, he wanted to be doing this? With Tracy Morgan? With Tracy Morgan. Well, yeah, he wanted to do it with Tracy Morgan. <laughs> the Tracy Morgan. You know how excited he got when they said, look, we hired, and they said Tracy Morgan. He was like, oh, fuck, we're going national. Oh, we're shit. We're going national. This is huge. And then some big, fat woman walks and here yeah. she is. What, what does she look like? Hey. I, no, nobody can find any pictures. I can't find pictures. Oh, uh, that is she's not. Okay. Good. I think she's a pig. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no. That is Are there any station good. event photos? No, she's not mentioned on the site anywhere. Nowhere. What? Like I, I scoured wow. the site. I can't even Google the site. her. Her name doesn't show up. How anywhere. about fucking? Uh, the is only she reason, spelling it wrong. The only reason we know who she is is because Danger Frog says, "Hey, it's Danger Frog and Tracy Morgan." Oh, how about you look at his Twitter? Go to the Twitter. You might find it through Twitter. He's only plugging his show that he does in the afternoon. Who does he follow? On his Twitter. But he has another show How he does? How many followers does he have? Danger for uh, well, He's got 766 followers. <laughs> Who is this motherfucker? He has to do two radio shows? Well, I think he was filling in for the morning. Like, they have the afternoon guy do the morning show as well. As they should. Danger Froggy. Yeah. What, what's his oh, Twitter? His, by the way, Danger Frog. Danger Froggy is his Twitter. But uh, oh, his God, name, awesome. he gave it away, is uh, Jeremy Mulder. But it's Jeremy Danger Mulder. I guess Danger is his middle name. Ah, oh, Danger it. is his middle That's name. Good. I like that. What's dangerous about him? Like he seems to sure he's a nice enough he was, guy, but he's not particularly dangerous. He no. was probably like a rock jock somewhere, and, and Danger was his middle name. And then he yeah. got the job offer from Froggy, so they said, we're going to change your name to Danger Frog. Danger Frog. Huh? We don't want to <laughs> get so that went, huh? You've already branded the danger thing. <laughs> and we got the frog thing, so I'm thinking Danger <laughs> Frog. Danger huh? Frog. Makes no sense. Huh? <laughs> and he's just like, yeah, okay. Just try to get Whatever, a just pay me. I, I do feel bad for a lot of these radio guys. See if he's following Tracy Morgan. Well, he's got 700 and... He's following he has the same amount of followers as he does people he's following, so either way you go. Yeah. He follows Jimmy Kimmel, thank wow. God. You know, someone Probably just does. Google, like, go, do God. an at mention search for Tracy Morgan. Try her name a few different ways. T-R-A-C-Y, T-R-A-C-I, T-R-A-C-E-Y. Who is this bitch? Who is this bitch? Why can't I find no Tracy Morgan? Where is she hiding? I can't, uh... Just try hiding on the motherfucking lily pad. <laughs> If it, yeah, I, no, it comes up Tracy Morgan. Yeah, Tracy of Morgan. course it does. So yeah, that's, that's hard. In. Well, how about you put it in motherfucking quotes, and then you quote Danger Frog, Mister? Because they <laughs> won't come up in the same Google search. Uh, yeah, I would put like Tracy Morgan and Danger Frog. Yeah, but don't. You got to put quotes around the motherfuckers. <laughs> Who is this bitch? Who is she? <laughs> uh, your last track. Uh, Big oh yeah. Well, this is like. You guys said that he's in hell yep. doing this radio show because this is not what he intended. This uh, screamed at me that he gets one break per show where he's allowed to do what he wants. Whoa. And, a little riffing? Right. Nice. And, Obi, I don't know, you you were doing radio for a long time on the rock stations before Ant came along. Did you ever have to save phone calls that you liked so you could redo jokes based on those phone calls? What? You know what I mean? You know you record phone calls? Yeah, we used to, re- me and Ant used to record the phone calls too. Sure. Did you ever we had to, save my curse. the phone call? <laughs> we saved phone calls all the time. But did you play it and then save it for days thinking, in a few days I'll use this joke on this phone call again? Uh, yeah. Because I, 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 okay. I, I kind of did that. Okay, that's and, right. And then I would make believe it was coming in for the first time. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, you, 
And I, you're at I'm the guilty point, of that. You're at the point in your career where you can admit your mistakes. I'm guilty and, of that. And you admit that you did this. I would make believe it was coming in live, man, at that hey. moment. And then someone would always call, like, dude, you played that three days ago. Nah, <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> Same guy. They would call in and call you out on and it. And then I'd be like, look, man, don't tell anyone what song you want to hear. I'll sneak it in. <laughs> <laughs> well, then somebody, with a request. somebody who's as experienced as you, I need you to tell me, number one, is this a live phone call? And number two, is the joke something that he thought of days ago when the phone call originally came in? Or is it a live phone call and he's just riffing? Riffing, okay. You tell me. Yeah. Because I don't know for sure. All right. I'm, inex- I'm young. Without hearing the call, it's not a live <laughs> phone call. Oh. And the joke wasn't on the spot. Oh. He probably thought about it at his house. Wrote it down. <laughs> Wrote it down. I'm going to save this phone call. I know I'll think of some joke for it. It's going to be great. Well, you patch things together. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hear. It. I, I have a feeling it's like live and it it's sure because it's it's danger frog. Well, it's not it's not some nasty that's true. It's not taking, lock jock. Yeah. yeah, it's written here. Danger takes a fake call that he probably took days ago so he can make a lay away joke. You know, lay away. Uh, yeah, yeah, lay away, lay away. Kind of sat there. Froggy in the morning at seven nineteen. You know, not just. Not not a, not are we only broadcasters here, but sometimes we're counsel. <laughs> oh, really? Are you? Not are we only not broadcast. Even when he got it out, it was not are we only broadcasters. Broadcasters here, but sometimes we're counselors, <laughs> therapists. As I tell Jimmy all the time, I'm not a counselor, but I stayed at a Super 8 motel last night. Oh, Super 8. Yes. Big <laughs> What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> it's a Holiday Inn Express. Oh, isn't that the commercial? Super Eight. I'm not that smart, but I guess Super Eight's a sponsor. So oh, what? So I, they they stole the Holiday Inn Express what slogan. What happened? There? I no, I don't know at They're all. They're laughing just by saying uh, Super Eight. Why you laugh? Why you laugh? <laughs> Why you laugh for? Why it, you laugh for? It, it's supposed to be a Holiday Inn Express commercial where they go. Uh, Maybe she's just stupid. I'm not that smart. She's no, I'm not a brain surgeon, <laughs> but I stayed at a Holiday Inn Express last night and. Yeah, because I don't see Super 8 advertised anywhere on this website. No. So maybe she's just, she just an up. idiot. Dude, she's just an idiot. <laughs> you think so? No, she's riffing, man. She's she Tracy fucked Morgan. Up. You think she, <laughs> she fucked, fucked up? up. <laughs> <laughs> Therapist. As I tell Jimmy all the time, I'm not a counselor, but I stayed at a Super 8 motel last night. Oh, Super 8. Yes. Big spender. Uh, Denise in Greensburg's on the See, I think the thing with these guys is the fact that the chemistry is such magic. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's hard not to enjoy this, the, the, the organic back and flow between them. You gotta hear that again, cause she gave the wrong reference, is... but he didn't get the joke at he all. He didn't get the joke at he all. He thought yeah, the joke yeah. was that she Good. didn't spend a lot of money on a hotel, which has nothing to do with, with, with being a counselor. Being is... smart or a counselor. It doesn't make any sense. No, it makes none sense. <laughs> this is Jagger and Richards, man. I don't know what you fuckers are You think so? About. Are they even in the same country while they do this show? <laughs> this sounds so fucking... Like everything's lost in translation. Yeah, yeah. They... Oh, my God. Oh, Super 8. Yes. Big I'll spender. laugh at that. Why? Uh, Denise in Greensburg is on the froggy phone. She needs something. What's up, Denise? Oh, I'm just having oh, so much fun. What happened? <laughs> oh, my bad water is acting up again. You can get that removed. Yeah, I'm going to next Tuesday. No context. When I moved to I- Pittsburgh, I started drinking Iron City beer and eating hot wings every night, and then I had to have my gallbladder removed like two weeks later. It's pretty amazing. I felt so Oh, my God. Actually, put a liver on layaway. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with your gallbladder surgery, Denise. Seriously. See, there you go. We're uh, therapists again. Someone liver on layaway. Worried about their. Holy shit! And 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 I, I break it down. They can't even do the basics right because no. oh they're trying God. to make believe it was a live phone call. But he left in the part at the end where she started the liver line. But then that's cut off because the <laughs> fucking phone call is done. Did you right. hear the yes. fucking yes. start the liver listen. line? Let me, let me you, hear you that should, again. You, you can hear the start it in the background. Look, you should also listen. Look, at least get all right. Look, it's horrible, but at least get the basics right. Okay, if we're gonna make believe there's a live phone call, then make sure it's edited properly. Yeah, yeah. And I, I listen, you'll hear it. Yeah. Good luck with your gallbladder surgery, Denise. Seriously. See, there you go. We're uh, therapists again. Someone. Liver on layaway. Worried. 
They cut her off in the middle of Liver on Layaway, and she did it again. That's, that's it. a quick edit. It's a terrible joke that she tried to repeat, and then she repeated it again. And, but but the, fuck it up, then it fucks it up, and it's, it doesn't sound like a live phone uh, call. That's just basic radio shit. And the reason you could tell that it was done days ago is because they probably were doing some kind of advice thing days ago. Right. But they set up they needed we're to counselors sometimes for some kind of context. Yeah, because the caller called up and said, "I got to talk about my gallbladder again, or something like that." She referenced to it not being the first, and everybody listening is like, "Huh?" Yeah. But then once the uh, liver on layaway line comes through, that's the gold. That's the gold right all there. All is saved. That's the golden nugget. I have to piss. I'm right back. I can't hold. Ooh, it. Make wee wee. I have to go. Badly. I gotta pee too. Oh, you want to break real quick or single? Because I have to piss no, so bad I can't about it. We're gonna break in a minute or two. All right, I'll go, be, I'll go make wee wees. All right, to. this is the end of the clip. See, there you go. We're uh, therapists again. Someone Liver on layaway. Worried about their gallbladder <laughs> surgery. <laughs> you start paying on it now? We were able to tell them that it's her that it's going to be just fine. Sarah <laughs> Evans coming up next. So don't worry. So don't worry. Yeah, because everything has to be good and nice. In the yeah, yeah. We were able to tell her everything's going to be just fine. We don't, were don't, joking about a medical issue, we're but we're joking. sorry yeah, about it. Be we're careful. Please, no letters. They don't want hey, one letter there. to come in. Leave it to Danger Frog to have to apologize after another one of his crazy Frog. bits. Oh, boy. That's what he said. That's Frog. true. How many apologies must he go through a week? I mean, he is dangerous. Dangerous. It's his middle name, by the way, as far as frogs go. I think that's it yeah, for today. You know, that is a great yeah. kickoff. What's funny yeah. about Jocktober is that Nothing. you guys always start the month saying, we love Jocktober. It's our favorite month of the year. But by the end of the first week or two, you neither of you want to look at me. No. You can't stay on the segment. Hate it. You hate Jocktober, and you want to quit the business altogether. Well, because what it. happens is it, it just becomes really sad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, got, I, I feel sad for those people. You All just the... see people in radio that uh, have not achieved where they want to be, their right. dreams. Like, he doesn't want some stupid hole doing oh, a show with them. Oh, God, no. And then eventually you realize you're in the same business. And, and, and he wants to be a little dangerous. He maybe, does. Maybe not to the level we are, but he wants to be a little dangerous, having a name like Danger Frog. His middle name. Yeah. It's just sad. But I mean, I would, I, I would like this to. This used to be a great business, and it's just sad what it's become. I would like to keep track of Everything when. Everything has to be ridiculously safe. Your emotions go from happy about Jocktober, which you still are today, yeah, to being uh, first sad and then vehemently angry about it. Yes. Just upset that it exists or any of it is happening. So angry. She's exactly like every other woman we've featured in Jocktober. And we've never featured this station before. This is the fourth year of Jocktober, I think, right, Eric? The fourth year of Jocktober. God bless. And we've never featured this station, oh. and it's another... Are we going to do a whole montage this year? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. All she's made stuff? it already. All right, good. Oh, yeah, she's got to be in. <laughs> and, I mean, some of our old favorite shows will be back for Jocktober. Scott and Todd? Scott and Todd. It's not, not Jocktober without Scott and Todd. Yeah, absolutely. And some of our favorite segments will be back, except featured on other shows. Whoa. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, All right. So man, the show will twist. be a new show. I have to make a request for Jocktober. But the segment is the same segment. We're, we're not doing uh, the Fugitive. Please do not do uh -oh. any Fugitive uh -oh. audio. No, I'm serious. Not yet. Just don't do it. The month is young, though. They and I'm get going it out to, there. I'm going to tell you, if anybody... No, it's where the fugitive no, is. No, no, we don't Just need leave to it on the Facebook the page. Is. I'm somebody <laughs> that you've seen. I go around and... Oh. Wow, there is a fugitive. He just called again. All right on schedule. <laughs> uh, I think we trace his call. And don't something. forget, a call from the fugitive coming up at 5 after the hour. <laughs> it's like, why? How do you know? I, I just think if you're going to do some of that hacky shit, you could do it... in in a way where it's sort of more believable. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Instead of just to totally just fucking go with the format. Uh, ah. I think they're hacky. Ah. <laughs> I told you were out of the room. I feel just bad for these people. You yeah. know, you know, Danger Frog wants to be a little dangerous. And you know, he doesn't want to be working with that broad. Yeah, who's, she's fucking Who's horrible. adding nothing. There's a few broads out there that add shit on radio, but this Tracy Morgan isn't one of them. No. And I'm not going to load up the end of Jocktober with old favorites this year like I've done ah. in the past. This week we'll have an old favorite. John and Jeff? I'm not making any promises about what this week holds. But we will have an old favorite this week. You know, uh, I just forgot. I, I got a haircut at a new place because uh, my guy was busy. 
And it always comes in the small talk. What do you do for a living? And I said, broadcast, do a radio show, right? I swear to God, I just remember this. He goes, oh, really? What show? I go, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm John from John and Jeff. <laughs> I swear to God, he said it. Oh, I never heard of uh, that show. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, yeah. we're, cause I, I just hate, you know, yeah, we're trying, in, we're trying. I hate getting in a conversation about our show with people. So it's yeah. like, ah, oh, I do a show. I'm John from John and Jeff. We're working on it, you know, <laughs> trying to get our name out there. Just talking to the third shifters. Cause then they, then they move we're on. We're two guys. Yeah. Then they move on to the weather or something instead yeah. of like wanting to just talk the whole time about, you know. Yeah, dumb radio. radio. Show. We're two guys who believe rain should only fall on weekdays. Yeah. Uh, was perfect. that one of them? No, but that's the kind of... That is perfect. Do we have a John and Jeff thing? It's their non-rebellious stuff that they have. Like, we believe... A John and Jeffism. That guilty people should pay the price. Yeah. <laughs> it's all yeah. terrible stuff that's... We, two we're two guys that believe if you did the crime, you should do the time. Whoa, watch yeah. out. Hey, look out. We're two guys who believe that yielding doesn't mean stopping. Oh, oh boy. Watch look out, out, look out. I think John should change his last name to Danger. Yeah, danger, danger, danger Jeff. Danger, danger John, John and Danger Jeff. Yeah, yeah, they should be the Danger Duo. Oh, yeah, that's and right. And then all of a sudden he's in Thailand. He does like Thailand. <laughs> we know what happens in Thailand. Oh, people go there for the scenery. For the yes. beaches, I hear. They yes. sure do. Yes. Yeah, 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 the yeah. hairless scenery. <laughs>